Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your October general and love reading. Let's see what's in store for you this month. Let's start with the general reading. <clears throat> Ooh, too many cards. All right, okay, that one's flipped. <laughs> what's going on? Your dreams need a practical plan. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. All right. Something going on that needs a practical plan, but fear is holding you back. Hold your vision and surrender to the divine. Interesting. Everybody's getting similar messages. The universe is telling me that when it comes to your life in general, this could be in all aspects, that there is something that you wish to kind of uh, manifest. You have a vision, you have a goal. And the universe is saying that I feel there is a part of you that is afraid. And uh, the universe is telling you, you don't need to be afraid. The only thing you need to do is work on a practical plan, like a plan in the 3D world. Like how is this going to actually manifest, all right? How is this going to work itself out? Uh, like what steps would I take if and when it works itself out? Uh, besides that, what, you know, besides making a practical plan, okay, you know, it's like doing the paperwork. You may want to say manifest a new job, a new career, a new project, but you need to kind of do the work. For example, you want a job, you need to get your resume ready. You need to start sending your resumes out. You've got to update your LinkedIn profile, join a, a, you know, one of those um, work sites, whatever it is. So those are things which are practical, right? And at the same time, you got to hold on to your vision. And the vision is where you imagine that you already have that perfect job with the perfect salary and the perfect environment for, you know, everything. And you imagine telling your friends, hey, I love my job. It's amazing. I make the, the kind of money I want and it's so awesome, right? So while you're doing all of this, the universe is saying, don't be afraid. Okay, the vision that you want to manifest is possible. You need to have patience and you need to surrender to the universe. So you need to first do the practical steps like doing, you know, taking, you know, like I said, updating your resume, etc. And this could apply in any aspect. I'm just giving you an example. And then at the same time, being patient because the universe also has to do its job. The good news is you've got the card abundance here. And this is telling me that whatever it is that you want to achieve in your life is possible. All right. Um, Saj, you don't need to worry about. Um, you don't need to worry about um, being afraid. You don't need to worry about failing. None of that is, the tr you know, is going to happen. Just be true to your vision. Do what is needed in the practical and just be patient and allow the universe to then kind of take control. Now let's look what's in store for Sagittarius's love life. All right, we've got Isis, magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Exactly. Stay focused. There you go. So this maybe has something to do with your love life. That could also be the case. The universe is saying that whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, just remain focused because it is possible. It is going to, you know, it's, it's on its way. You've got the white eagle ancestor spirit. Connect to your lineage, a family wound or pattern. All right, so there is something from your family life that might have stayed with you. I feel October is a big healing month because everybody's getting similar messages. This is telling me that a lot of you need, you know, there's a lot of healing going on in the month of October and you don't need to worry because, uh, you know, this month healing can happen. What you want in your love life can be achieved. Whatever you're going through, there is a lot of learning happening. Uh, uh, you know, there is all of the lessons that you've been through. Maybe things have not gone your way. Maybe things happen in a particular manner. It's because they, it had, there was a karmic purpose to it. There was, there was a reason why these things happened. And it's because there was a karmic lesson here. You had to learn. You had to, you know, if, grow from these lessons. This is something you had kind of signed on from for before you were born even right so this is something that you were hoping to achieve because it was a karmic lesson but this karmic lesson is now 
uh, uh, undergoing uh, a completion. So whatever has been holding you back when it comes to your love life, uh, now that is coming to an end because a lot of lessons have been learned. And then there can be a rebirth in this relationship. The universe is saying that this could be somebody in particular that you're thinking of, that you want a second chance. This could be somebody you're in a relationship with, but you want things to go to the next level. Or maybe you want somebody new in your life. There is a chance of rebirth, all right, because the one cycle is ending. There, all of that happened because there were some lessons you had to learn. You need to be compassionate towards others and yourself at this time. And then also trust your intuition because there is something going on. Uh, and I feel like your intuition is sharp enough, strong enough, deep down your gut feeling you already know what to do. You know where this is taking you. You know where the you know why certain things are happening. But maybe you're not letting you know you're not letting your um, mind fully go there because you know your ego mind's coming in the way or whatever you want to call it. But you know where this is going. Yep. And this go look at that new love, reconciliation, separation, retreat. Wow. So yeah, I'm definitely getting for some of you, uh, this could be, like I said, a twin flame situation. This could be somebody you're separated with. Uh, maybe somebody and somebody uh, was separated. Somebody took some time off, uh, disconnected from each other. But the love was always there. And now because that cycle has ended, maybe one person needed to go. Both of them needed to actually go through a karmic cycle. This is telling me, Saj, that... Uh, reconciliation is possible there is a new love coming in for some of you there is a new love and for others there is a new version of an old love coming back in because when they do when people from the past do come back the relationship is not the same because both of you have obviously grown and evolved so so either or now of course if you do not want an ex to come back this isn't like oh my god the ex will come back and i have no say in the matter is your choice what you want to do with that all right so let's get some advice we've got prioritize your life invest energies with the right intention to create right manifestation in your life sometimes the most attached relationships can create distraction from your journey so yeah, maybe it's time to let go of certain people, maybe karmic people, karmic situations that no longer suit you because there is a bigger and bigger judge, bigger plan in place. And maybe the karmic people have come or karmic situations have come. They've taught you the lessons you have needed to learn. But now it's time for you to kind of, you know, move forward. Judgment. Whatever it is you are judging right now is only going to deplete you of your own soul frequency. You need to rise above the situation and give it a neutral perspective. So going back to that patience card, I feel like the universe is telling you don't, you don't have the full, full picture in place. So you don't need to kind of worry about it. Things are working out in your favor. Maybe you're being too judgmental about the situation. Maybe you're, you know, you're being too you know, judgmental about yourself even. And this is where the compassion card comes into play. You know, be compassionate towards yourself. Be compassionate towards others. There is no need to judge. There is definitely something big change, some big change happening in your life. We've got two cards of rebirth and we've got separation. I mean, to me, this is crazy screaming uh, somebody that has been in separation and there's going to be reconciliation uh, this is you know two cards have come out and as you can see I shuffled them right in front of you and uh, to me this could very much be a twin flame scenario as well uh, so just kind of you know what don't let fear come into play into 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 effect uh, now is the time for you to just be true to your vision, be true to who you want to be with, be true to where you want to go. You have great powers of manifestation this month. You've got Isis, the magic manifesting. So there is a chapter ending and you have nothing to fear. All right. And uh, yeah, just, just go with the flow and trust. Okay. Things are going to work itself. A little bit of patience is required as well. 
All right, Saj, if you like my readings, it would be great if you could please subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow me on social media, I do daily card polls under Natural Vibration or you can follow me under Ritnika Nen on my Instagram page where I post about everything. I'm also on Facebook, so you can follow me there as well. All right, guys, take care. Bye.